Hey, cycling community, this is Steve Grusis of Cycling Greek. Ordinarily, I'm wearing my red, white, and blue kit, but today I am wearing this Bumblebee jersey because I have joined a team, and that is Team TFC. They do have their own kit, but to be able to qualify to get that kit, I have to do a particular ride on Sunday, so I still have to get that done. My buddy Bob, who you've seen in previous videos, is on that team and finally convinced me to go ahead and join, so I finally did. This is my first time I've joined a team on Zwift. I am a team player and I love riding with teammates, but the last few years, maybe a decade or so, uh, on the road, I haven't had any teammates. So I'm hoping that riding for TFC will scratch that itch. You'll notice some other kits that are the same Boba P kit that I have, but I don't think they're TFC. I look at their names and TFC isn't part of the name, so I assume they're just wearing that kit. This race took place on a Tuesday. The last time I was on the bike was on Saturday, and this is my rest week. So it's more of an active rest week, and my legs are actually feeling pretty good. The main reason I need this rest week is because I've been doing a huge amount of miles, which for me a huge amount of miles and these huge rides. For example, this past Saturday, I did about 110 miles with 12,400 feet of climbing. Reason I'm doing that is I'm training this one young lady young relative to me i'm like 68 almost and she is 30 31 and weighs two-thirds of what i weigh uh, to do this 155 mile 15,000 foot of climbing event not just to do it but to do it for time and the time that she's choosing that i think she can do it in will put her in about the top 10 12 percent of the finishers after you finish viewing this fine video, I encourage you to go to the description below and click on to the other video that describes what was going on with that ride that I was, did this past Saturday. In that video of the training ride, I talk about what it takes to ride for time on an event like that. It's a lot more than just learning how to climb fast. All right, let's go to the action on the screen. I survived the initial start and worked my way up to the front group, so I like to plant myself toward the front and have a little buffer in case anything happens. Small breakaway of three is coming back. It's too early to do anything, especially for me. And uh, we have about 49 riders in this race. There were 53 signed up. On a quick perusal of the finishers' ages, we have a number of 60 pluses in here, but I think I'm the oldest one again at uh, nearly 68. Often on flatter courses, I like to do a bit of a workout and I'll just attack and uh, force myself to recover after I'm caught. But this group seems a little strong. So I'm, I'm not doing that. I also want to see how I can uh, finish on this course. This is a volcano circuit and it is one of my favorites. And I will get a workout when we go up that climb. So when you look at the uh, graphics from the upper portion, you'll see that we're doing four laps on this circuit. And speaking of that climb, well, let's jump to that right now. As we approach the climb, what I need to do, which is what I'm doing right now, is plant myself toward the front so that I can have a little bit of a buffer. Looks like there's somebody with strong legs out there because he took off at the bottom. That's something I would love to do, but I'm an old guy now. I can't do stuff like that. As you can see, I'm starting to float back. I'm feeling comfortable still, and my wattage is in, you know, about the 330 watt range. We get to the top. I'm pretty much connected, but it's taking some effort just to stay there. I'm good so far, but we're going to be doing this three more times. The guy that took off at the bottom has been caught as he entered the volcano, and he still stayed at the front and he's drilling it. It does look like we're starting to slow a bit, and I'm pretty thankful about that. This section, while it looks flat, is not all flat. There's some false flat uh, topography going here a little bit, and then we're going to hit a little bit of a bump, especially as we approach the, the finish line, which in this case is going to be the end of the lap line. As you can tell, I forgot about this part, so I'm starting to fall back, and now I have to put a little more watts in and uh, to stay connected with these guys. I'm doing over 5 watts per kilogram, and no one else is. So right away, I pretty much recognize that one of the main things I would have to do is conserve as much as I can during this race. Of course, everyone says that, but uh, being able to do that and say it are often two different things. After the climb, we're now starting into the second lap, and not much action has happened during that first part of the second lap, and so now again we're approaching the climb. And again, somebody's taken off at the bottom of it. I don't know if it's the same guy. I kind of remember a blue uniform. I'm thinking it probably is, and I'm also thinking, oh, this is the guy to watch. Michael Libner is his name, and he's 61. So we'll see how he finishes. Again, I was able to get toward the front at the beginning of the climb, 
but I was a little too lackadaisical once I got there. And so I have a lot more people passing me up. I have to do a lot more wattage. I'm now going over 400 so I can get back to the position that I lost. Now, as we enter the cave, I'm, I'm close enough, but I'm still having to do a huge amount of watts. So those are matches that I'm burning that I can use later on. Remember, I'm almost 68. And when you're almost 68, you don't have as many matches as you did when you were much younger. When I was the young cycling Greek, I used to shoot bullets off all the time. Now that I'm old cycling Greek, I can't do that anymore and finish the race with everyone else. This part here is what you classically refer to as recovering under stress. We have the false flat bump thing happening toward the, uh, toward the end of the lap. And I know that I have to stay toward the front again to be a buffer. Now, we're doing uh, one little bump and so I'm starting to fall back. I'm still staying connected but I'm now having to put in more wattage just to be able to stay connected and thank goodness I still am it'll crest out right at that uh, end of lap sign. As we start lap three, all I'm thinking is we've got two more of these to go. We are back at it again for this lap three climb. This was a critical lap for me because I had to be especially wary to be toward the front heading into this and to keep my power even and not overcook going into this and just in case there's some people there with some strong legs that decided to try breakaway. Now keeping my wattage in the low 300s, there is no breakaway attempt and this actually would have been a good time to do a breakaway attempt. Uh, the guy that or the guys that were tried it in the previous laps I uh, don't know where they are. I'm still in great position. I'm doing more watts. I activated my aero boost than the previous climbs. I've had the climbing, the feather, which you know I would have preferred, but uh, I have the aero boost and I'm keeping the wattage up. As my boost dies out, my wattage is lower, but I have a little momentum that takes me off the front. So I decide to keep going at it because I know it's coming up and I know people are going to come around me, but they're just not doing it yet. They're staying around three, four meters behind me. I'm going threshold now. If I can keep this up and get to the end of the lap, great. If they, some of them start to pass me, I can get on their wheel. Yeah, it's still a plus for me. While I'm approaching, I am keeping it below 300 watts, so, so far so good. You know, I hit it, go a little bit over or on that bump, but uh, I'm with the group and uh, I'm doing the ugly face right now, but it's, that's not going to last too long, at least I hope it's not. Here's the end of lap. I have one more lap to go and now we're going to have a little bit of a descent. I am at the front, toward the front. I'm, I'm dialing back a bit, so I'm not going to pull everybody around, but uh, there's still a little bit of bump, a little bit of false flat right now. So I am again doing the recovering under stress. I realize that I've used a lot of energy and then in this last lap, things are going to get lit up, especially on that last climb. For most of the beginning of the last lap, I made sure that I was just following wheels that I didn't drift off the front nor drift off the back. Now we're approaching the climb again. I'm in great position toward the front. We are down to a pack of 33. I can't be too conservative on this, and I certainly don't want to be stupid. I do have a power up and I activated it. It's a ghost. They gave me a ghost, but you know, what are you going to do? We have three riders that look like they're in a bid to take it to the line. That encourages me to put in more wattage. I'm now over 400, which is toward the beginning of the climb. We have some real strong guys that are now pushing it. I can't get to them. I'm doing over 400 and I'm not going to be doing much more. What I hope to do is maintain my efforts so I can get a good placing as possible. And that's a big ask doing that for half a kilometer and already my wattage is starting to go down because I need to recover. I see all these young whippersnappers go up ahead of me. I'm also looking at the graphics on the right and I'm about 14th, 15th place. Now I'm starting to pick up the wattage again because I do have a bit of repeatability and see if I'm again over 400 watts, at least I was, see if I can maintain that to the line and I'm starting to drift back down again. I'm doing the ugly face again, and it's a really an ugly face. We're going on the bump. I'm seeing that I'm increasing the numbers. I'm in 18th place. I get passed by a couple more people. I'm still pushing. I can't get over 300, but there's the line. I see that there's a little bit of a gap to the people behind me, and man, now I'm heaving and hoeing. So, uh, well, 39th overall for everything, but I got 20th in the C's, and then again, that's out of uh, 49 for the starters, but that's 33. We had 33 in that final pack at the finish. All right, that's it. Check out that video in the description below of my training ride with Natalia. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got something out of it. And as always, remember, comment, like, subscribe. The Cycling Greek.